Hello and good morning everyone. So <clears throat> we have discussed uh, the previous lecture about the gram positive bacteria that was on the Clostridium group in which we have discussed about the Clostridium titani, botulinum, perfringes and Clostridium difficile respectively. Now we are moving on and coming, going to another gram positive medically important bacteria that can even cause us death if it is not treated properly or if, you, if we are not get vaccinated against this disease and that is Corinobacterium diphtheri causing the disease diphtheria. Welcome on page 139 uh, USMLE step 1 2021 microbiological revision section. Okay, so talking about the Corinobacterium diphtheri, this is the bacteria that is a gram positive bacilli. Okay, that is comes fall on the aerobic condition. We are talking about the gram positive uh, bacilli that is Corinobacterium diphtheri and it has it is a gram positive rods occurring in the an angular arrangement transmitted via the respiratory droplets so mainly they are talking about the arrangement that is a angular so it's actually in the common term in the microbiological student it is mainly common as a chinese letter pattern if you see the organism the organism will be like chinese letter pattern let me let me show you the organism you can see over this is the gram stain of this coronavirus diphtheri where you can see this is the arrangement like a chinese letter appearance so this arrangement the angular arrangement which appears as a chinese letter so it is known as the yeah, commonly known as the chinese letter arrangement okay now talking about the uh, trans and the transmission it can be transmitted through the respiratory droplets so it is a droplet contact it can be uh, transmitted since a droplet not the airborne so it can be transmitted few meters and then in people who are in the close contact will get easily transmitted okay cause diphtheria via exo exotoxin so it is a disease that is mediated by the exotoxin let me revise you one thing if you get a diphtheria bacteria infection you get a person is infected with diphtheria you are not immunized or your immunization has got went your antibody is not there in your body then the through the you get close contact through the respiratory droplets it gets into your respiratory tract then goes into the throat and in throat it will get as well form the pseudomembrane and after forming the pseudomembrane what happens in this throat the bacteria will be localized only there it will not invade in your in your blood but the toxin released by those bacteria invade in your blood and then it going to heart, attack your heart and nervous system and may kill you so the bacteria is actually localized it is only the toxin the exotoxin which released goes into the systemic circulation and then going to uh, that inhibit the protein synthesis by inhibiting the elongation factor 2 we have talked in the exotoxin section where you have talked about the inhibiting the protein synthesis and this coronavirus diphtheria and pseudomonas uh, erigenosha these two are the bugs that inhibit the protein synthesis by inhibiting the elongation factor 2 okay so this is the exotoxin uh, in potent exotoxin actually say uh, encoded by beta microphase that is the beta prophase Potent exotoxin inhibit the protein synthesis by uh, ADP ribosylation of elongation factor 2 that inhibit elongation factor 2 leading in the possible necrosis in the pharynx, cardiac and CNS tissue. So they are causing necrosis in the throat, into the cardiac muscle, into the nervous system. What are the symptoms? We have come to the mechanism. We have known about the bacteria. This is a gram positive bacilli. Okay. Then coming to the uh, arrangement the if you see in the gram stain they will appear at the chinese letter pattern will come to the diagnosis and then they develop this uh, they goes and colonize in your throat they develop the pseudomembrane over there and they release the toxin the toxin goes inside the blood and they cause they cause the inhibit the protein synthesis and cause an necrosis of the pharynx cardiac muscle and sinus tissue the symptoms include the pseudomembranous pharyngitis the grayish white membrane if you can see over here in the one side there is in the throat uh, yeah, there is a comparison in one side you can see this is the extra membrane the gray gray's membrane that is a pseudo membrane pseudo is it is called because it knows a true membrane when we want to tear it when you it, there will be the in simultaneous bleeding bleeding easily tearable and easily bleeds actually pseudo membranes pharyngitis with lymph adenopathy there is an enlargement of the lymph node and appearance toxic dissemination may cause myocarditis arrhythmia and neuropathy we'll come to the lab diagnosis let's me let you show you so you are my publication and new england journal of medicine actually this is you can see over me my name dr ranjitsa diphtheria new england this is new england journal of medicine we have published this uh, clinical image where we have seen a young girl having developed the pseudomembranous colitis and the there is the inflammation of this bull neck you can see there in the throat 
the, this side that due to the lymphadenopathy it looks like the whole neck has been swollen and it appears as a bull so this has uh, actual the characteristic features she was a young girl who developed the lymphadenopathy due to that there was the total swelling of her neck looking as a bull neck and there was the pseudo membrane in the tonsil as well okay so this was this is the one of the world this is the topmost journal in the world okay so we have diagnosed and actually the same same condition was there a patient get infected she was vaccinated was not complete then she developed this get contacted with the coron bactam diphtheri develop this infection the toxin release goes into the blood okay and there we have developed the pseudo membrane that is the toxin and she was we were managing with the antitoxin and the antibiotics but we are not able to survive because this is very dangerous disease once it the toxin released is goes into the heart and already damaged the heart that is not usually neutralized we have to give the antitoxin for treatment to neutralize those toxin that has been released okay so died two days later and the and again we have uh, the isolated colony which we have um, culture we have sent to the cdc or when the cdc they have found that there is a now uh, they have found the toxin as well as they are able to confirm this by the pcr so let's come over here so we haven't seen that there is the bliss this bull neck appearance okay this bull neck appearance you have to understand that okay so diphtheria talking about is a serious infection caused by the strain of the coronary bacterium diphtheria and that makes a toxin it can lead to difficult breathing heart failure paralysis even death cdc recommendations vaccine for children teens and prevent diphtheria so you can see over the diphtheria many picture these are the in both pseudo membranous even this image is also coming of the published by us so that you can see there is the bull neck appearance bull neck appearance you can even see another as well uh, picture there is the bull neck appearance as well okay you can over see there there is the bull neck appearance many publication in the my my clinic journal as well this is our publication then there was a again you can see over the bull neck appearance the cause there are the four species current victim diphtheria mitis intermediates gravis and bella fenty so they are gravis are the deadly uh, more deadly one actually so we will come to the treatment then uh, you can see let's go to the diagnosis part actually lab diagnosis is based on the gram positive they are gram positive rods with metachromatic granules because when you what are we, how we can diagnose in the lab in the lab you take the swab put it for the gram stain in the gram stain you will find the gram positive bacteria with this uh, different chinese letter pattern angular arrangement then when you do a, another test known as the um, another stain when we has the that is called the lofler stain when we have said we can you can say this there will be the red appearance okay so the metachrom they do they, they are metachromatic granules will appears and that appears that actually we color with the uh, blue but that the appearance the metachromatic the storehouse actually get the red color so that is the one of the metachromatic granules neta means color and meta means chromatic means there is a different color actually we color with one but it appears another we color with the blue and appear as the red granules and there is the elect test one of the test by which we do the elect test in which the toxin is measured it is a toxin mediated or not it does release the toxin or not if release the toxin then you we know that it is a confirmatory that toxin get released into the blood and that it is going to damage your heart and the nervous system okay necrosis so how we can prevent it prevention is toxoid vaccine prevents the diphtheria so vaccination is uh, it is in the epi schedule of nepal and all over the world the vaccination is very common there are three dose vaccination now actually cdc recommend is recommend five dose of vaccination that you have to remember but in many part of the world only three dose has given and with the time the patient immunity get went that patient antibody come down and because of that patient can get this diphtheria infection okay So now talking about how to remember this is the corona bacterium this is club shape metachromatic granules some lofler -lof medium black colonies and the uh, cystine uh, telluride blood agar we can remember by with a b c d e they are say, saying they adp 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 ribosylation b froze uh, b prophase corona bacterium diphtheria elongation factor 2 and granules how can be the treatment option so treatment let me go over here you can see over here the diagnosis in the diagnosis we do the throat swab and do the screening a screening that can be sent for the stain that is the lofler uh, stain and as well as the uh, this you can say 
uh, air gram stain and after that you can see there we can do the culture in the culture with the telluride blood agar plate where they will appear as the black colonies and after black colonies they can even send to the lofler's medium where and if their growth is there then we send this all these things to the reference laboratory for the detection by the PCR to take the uh, toxin. They can be also detected in the lab by the phenotypic test known as the ELEC test. So you have to remember two things about the diphtheria. One is the ELEC test and one is the bacteria itself and the disease caused by it and how can we can manage. Okay. So diagnosis is diphtheria. We are on diagnosis so diagnosis usually decide the person's symptoms if it has a patient has a symptom it, since it is a very deadly disease once you know the patient has the symptoms you have to immediately start the treatment and one important thing is that even after treatment lot of the evening if you goes to the treatment even after treatment the treatment is two one you have to neutralize the antitoxin because the to toxin is actually very potent and they are going to cause you the disease and they are going to kill you. So we need to neutralize that toxin. For that we give the antitoxin, antidiphtheric serum and then also you, we use antibiotic to kill the bacteria. So there are two options. One is to give antitoxin that is very urgent. If you don't give the toxin will already damage your heart and as well as the nervous system and you develop arrhythmia and death. Despite using treatment there is a chance of one in ten person to die there may be due to the already toxin has already damaged the heart or maybe due to the this uh, anti diphtheric serum the antitoxin have allergic severe allergic reaction and patient will die of that okay so we have came to know about the treatment we have came to know about the diagnosis okay now we have talk about the symptom as well we have known about the arrangement this is the culture this is you can see the bacteria that is the grow on the blood tell right agar this is the black colony and that helps the characteristic colony which helps us to differentiate from the other organism this becomes the selective media for the growth of this current bacterium diphtheria. okay so we have gone through this and if we have talked about diagnosis we know the website we have this also treatment option option we have known we have seen the lot of the picture we have come with this okay let's finalize over here so in a not cell what is the point to be remembered from coronavirus diphtheria is it is a deadliest organism it needs vaccination to get prevented if you are not vaccinated then you may get di develop this disease this organism is coronavirus diphtheria what is caused it causes the pseudo membranous colitis in your throat the disease is mediated by its exotoxin that inhibit the protein synthesis by inhibiting the elongation factor 2. The symptoms are there will be the fever, resp upper respiratory sym symptoms, there will be a uh, pseudomembranous colitis, uh, sorry, colitis, no pseudomembranous pharyngitis in the pharynx, there will be the lymphadenopathy, so bull neck, okay. Patient in the, uh, mainly the children are developing the disease. Initially, we give the vaccine that lasts for five, six years, so the mm, people who have not vaccinated will develop in the early part of the life infancy or say in the children who had been vaccinated they can develop in the uh, 10 to 11 for 13 14 years because at the time in the lot of the part of the world there is the uh, vaccination that is given one two or three dose only those who are giving five dose they will not develop the disease that you have to understand so vaccination prevent it okay now symptoms you have known you have may give the give you this picture and help help you to identify the uh, disease or maybe help to identify the organism they can use another information gram stain it is the what gram stain you will find chinese letter pattern okay they can do the this metachromatic stain where we have seen uh, this metachromatic granules will be can be seen okay also elect test is done for toxin so if there is a patient if there is a bacteria that is releasing the toxin we can demonstrate in the lab the final diagnosis will be done by the PCR in PCR we can see the this toxin as well as identify this organism if you know that the toxin is present and the organism is identified the our diagnosis is confirmed the prevention is vaccination treatment on treatment point of view you have to understand we have to neutral we have to give both treatment we have to kill the organism and we have to treat the toxin as well so for toxin we have to neutralize the toxin and for neutralizing the toxin we need to give antitoxin then antitoxin is need to be the <clears throat> decision should be very fast because once the toxin is released the patient has developed symptom and toxin is released it is not reversible it will go and bind to the bind to the heart and damage the heart and then develop arrhythmia and kill you 
despite if the toxin has already bind to the heart despite you give the antitoxin the antitoxin will only neutralize the free toxin that is in the blood not that has been bound to your heart or the nervous system so the decision to give antitoxin is very important the other side of the uh, this disease has the um, side effect or say the main challenges is that we when we use this antitoxin this antitoxin itself can kill the patient because it is very allergic it develops hypersensitivity and patient may die due to the anti diphtheric serum as well so they need to be sensitized in some of the patient and the decision should be the clinical eye the clinical point of view should be a very accurate while you giving antitoxin okay you send the swab to the lab lab will do the gram stain they will do the the slough floor cystron and and uh, once they found that there is metachromatic granules and also the chinese letter pattern in the um, what we say gram stain then they can you help you to move forward go for the treatment and on next day there will be the culture in the culture blood agar the red blood agar plate you should the black colony you are getting confirmed you can do the further test elect test and send to the reference laboratory like cdc and get the final diagnosis confirm okay since this is a very deadly disease it makes a high yield and you have to get ready for it thank you